So we had a group of uh, each week between six and eight kids. Uh, most of them were here for at least four weeks. Some of them were here for up to six weeks. So we wanted to uh, do a training block where we spent a lot of focus on improving physically, um, improving with their mental skills, with our mental skills team, and also um, improving their games from a technical and tactical standpoint. So it was great. Um, having this time each Wednesday with um, our performance analytics team um, using uh, the dartfish to uh, tackle a different subject matter each week. So um, we looked at uh, things from a technical standpoint, um, we looked at things from a tactical standpoint, but basically each week had a different theme. And um, we'd look at um, our players versus some of the pros and have the kids actually um, use uh, a dartfish and give them assignments so they could kind of go home and, and, and learn how to use it so they can kind of learn how to watch tennis a little bit differently. Um, you know, I think it, you know, most of these kids, they, they more have been watching tennis from a fan standpoint instead of from um, you know, kind of a, a standpoint of they, they want to learn um, and watch as a, as a coach would. Absolutely, because everything that we did in here lined up with our lesson plans on the court. So if one week we're working on, let's say, uh, changing directions with the ball um, on court, that was our theme um, in here. And that's what the, the players were looking at video, looking for different cues um, when they're watching the videos, that the video assignments that, were, that they were given. So then when we go back out the following week, you can see that they have a better understanding of it and they're, be, they're able to apply the lessons that we're learning on the court um, in, in a more efficient manner. Yes, it was great to have John's boys up here every Wednesday afternoon for the, uh, for the theory lesson we had up here in the lab. Uh, obviously, we use Dartfish from a technical standpoint. We use the analyzer tool to do side-by-side -side comparisons, to track their progress, the technique. So we really utilized the new comments feature on Dartfish TV. We had all the kids signed up. We had a collection where we would put content in and the kids were assigned a player that they chose or we said, hey, you kind of play like this player, the game style is very similar. Why don't you see what they do, how they play? And they would be away from here in their hotel rooms whenever they were on campus, had some downtime. They'd be making comments. They'd be using the filter tool, say of our, our concept of Surf Plus One. They would use the filters to look at that player, look at their Surf Plus One, and then make comments on the point. And what was great about it as well is we had a continual feedback um, system going on. So each week the, we would come up and we would review the last week's session and they would feed back their comments to the group. And another great feature is as well, during the week you could see on Darfish TV whenever they made a comment so we could go in and make a comment on top of that comment and give them feedback and just have a running dialogue going throughout the week. So it wasn't just a once and we're done on a Wednesday, it was continually being fed back through the week. I think it's huge for them. Um, again, the kids today, um, they've got access to uh, so many uh, great players, uh, so many videos that they can watch um, from pros and they can watch themselves. And um, you know, teaching them how to kind of dissect a match, how to look at it analytically, how to break down stats and kind of look for key factors of things that all players do well and things that they need to improve in their game, I think is, is, is going to be a game changer for these young players. Yeah, and one of the great things about uh, them watching themselves as well, we had them pair up and do some peer-to-peer -peer feedback to each other and it was just great to see them feeding back to each other. It was net approaches yep. um, and just the fun we had with that as well. Um, and talking about when they came in, why they came in, how they came in, uh, points they won, points they lost, but also as well, not just win or lose, not the outcome, but kind of how they came into the net. That's probably one of the most impactful things. Um, you know, sometimes what players think are happening on court isn't what's actually happening. And when you can kind of show them point by point, um, you know, kind of some of the, the common mistakes that they're making, and then you look and show them where their game needs to go, and they can 
take a match and kind of just break down those specific aspects of the match and look at it over and over and over again. Um, and, and then show them the, the percentages too, show them the statistics. I think you know, the kids really understand that. Most of these kids are very visual with their learning and being able to see it and then go right on court and try to, and try to apply it, um, I think is extremely important and I've seen a, a benefit already. Yeah, personally, I was so impressed with how quickly they picked up. I mean, Darfish TV, it's very intuitive, it's very easy to use and they picked it up straight away. They knew how to filter, they knew how to, you know, watch points, um, they knew how to navigate through the video. Uh, so I was really, really impressed with how quickly the boys picked it up. It's, it's been really great through the use of video as well to highlight to the boys some of the things they do really, really well uh, on the match court. Uh, sometimes the use of video and analytics can be used to show areas of weakness and improvement. But also I think it's really important as we did with these boys, some of the great things they did in, in their matches and really highlighting those. And they like watching those too. <laughs>